gotta grab my crown. Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. Brad is busy. Actually, he's in the shower. Um, it is um, June 17th, 2019. It is Monday, early evening at 5.04 p.m. And um, uh, we've been kind of busy today, and um, that's a good thing. Uh, we had a nice weekend. Uh, we were busy working on birdhouses, and I was busy painting painting a few of them, and uh, Brad was busy putting them together. Of course, you know, he does the designing and the cutting out, putting them together, and he also, um, unless he's super busy, he does the staining and the varnish, varnishing now. Because I have other projects I'm working on also. Um, and because it's been rainy, he's having to do that in the, I would say, just the craft room now instead of the art studio. Uh, so we share that space. Um, so, yeah, that's what he's been busy doing. Um, we aren't going to show every birdhouse right now because they are not varnished. But I'm going to show you guys one of the two-holer outhouse ones. I've started a new page and I'm going to put that link below. Um, it is called Darb and Twee and that's all one word. Darb and Twee because Darb is Brad's name backwards. I've called him that ever since before we were married. He's called me Twee. You guys know why. And um, select wood and art. So, um, that's a new page that we've started that's going to be our business name. And we're just going to fly by the seat of our pants and try to make a go of this for this to be our livelihood, um, you know, to be supplemental. So, I hope so because this has really given Brad a new lease on life. I haven't seen him so excited in a long time as he is with uh, designing and, you know, figuring out all the dimensions and stuff, uh, doing everything, is put a new pep in his step, as I would say. So, I'm going to show you this one, and like I said, this is not varnished yet. It is stained, and um, there's just a few of these done right now. So, if you're interested, let me know. I'm going to tell you right now, this one is $22 plus shipping. It'll be actual shipping. Um, you know, I don't have a weight on this, but we will. And because uh, we actually have a postal scale meter. Um, and we will always ship the cheapest way possible. Probably if you're too far from us, it, it'll come in a priority flat rate box. Um, very carefully bubble wrapped. So this one, and I love these. Such a nice warm. This is his two holer outhouse one. Uh, and there is a piece of wood in between these two holes. So there is actual living quarters for each for each, you know, set of family. Now you might think, oh, I don't know if that would work. We had Brad made me one of these. It wasn't this way, but it was it was they were side by side and they we always had both sides full. And I'll tell you what, these are solidly built, as you can tell. Beautiful wood grain. You put nice warm stain on here. Um, show you this side. Look at this top. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that beautiful wood grain. Um, these are very solidly built. They, if they will survive Wyoming winters, they will survive whatever besides. You know, Mother Nature's severe storms like hurricanes and tornadoes. Um, but they will survive the rain, the wind, the ice, the snow, anything. This is solid, solid pine. Um, you know, and Brad glues these together. Then he nails them. So they're not coming apart. And, um, you know, this is the labor of love. And, uh, yeah, but this is this two-holer outhouse. And right now he only has two of these. 
and two of it's a more of a gray kind of a um, it's not as warm of a wood color it's got a little bit of a gray undertone um, actually there's I and then there's one one holer birdhouse as an outhouse and then I'm looking and there are one or two of just a diamond ones now these are $22 like I said plus shipping so is the one so is a single hole outhouse one same price now the diamond ones you guys will see tomorrow was seventeen dollars plus shipping plus actual shipping um so yeah you know and i'm coming up with some that are crackle that i painted that are crackle and weathered distressed that kind of stuff so yeah be sure and watch tomorrow if you want to see close-ups and and have the man himself talk about this um so yeah i just wanted to show you guys that he's been very busy with that you can't buy any more wood to make any more until he sells some because, you know, we just don't have the money for it. We spent the last little bit of our, our money um, on uh, um, food today, which was good. For, let's say, $32. It was 31 something. We got, um, well, we got two bags of chips, but one is I like those veggie straws. I like the Zesty Ranch. And they're not too bad for you. Um, and Brad got a bag of some kind of chips. Um, and we got another gallon of orange juice. And we got a two pound thing of strawberries. We got a huge watermelon. It's huge. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, we got a sandwich to split. You know, one of the long ones. I take like. A third of one, and Brad has the rest. Um, what else did we get? Oh, I need another big container of the spring mix with spinach, is what I like. I got some more tomatoes. Uh, Brad needed a thing of bagel. And then I got a bag of the unsweetened um, coconut flakes. I like to put a little bit of that in my yogurt. So, for all of that, for. Um, uh, $32. I also ran into Dollar Tree. We need to get some more sponge brushes um, and some uh, breathing masks, you know, like painting masks, so he's not breathing in all of the varnish and stuff. So, and he's got a lot of um, fans and stuff going in that room. Of course, there's some air conditioner and stuff, so, you know, they'll dry quickly unless we have a heat gun. Um, so yeah, that's what we have, uh, going on in there. Um, and I showed them your birdhouse. Well, what they say about it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, everything's going good. You know, I'm still having my same female problem, but, you know, it's getting closer to seeing the doctor. And, um, don't walk in front of my camera. What? <laughs> don't walk in front of the camera half naked. Nope. Um, <sighs> but besides that, that's about it. Can you make me a thing of, uh, um, ice and root beer, please? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm just going to sit for a couple minutes. Now. Okay, you okay? My hip really hurts. It's time for you to... Yeah. Every afternoon, I gotta remind this man. I don't know what he would do without me. I got every afternoon though. I gotta remind him that he has an afternoon dose of gabapentin, you know, and then he takes um, some back and body with it because uh, he really gets to hurt. Me. We are gonna call. We didn't today, but we are gonna call um, uh, on an orthopedist and. Um, uh, I think we're going to cancel the pain management because that doctor only marked that it was for his hip. He just kind of wanted to dispute that Brad had any back problems at all, even though Brad's had back problems for 17 years. And he, I mean, this is our complaint. I know initially we're like, you know, we seemed like we were pretty happy with the doctor. We were in shock. He, he 
didn't want to order any images for Brad at all. He didn't want to even talk about his back. He didn't want to even talk about the neuropathy. Now he's a, neuro he's a neurologist. He was just so focused on that it was just Brad's hip. And again, it's one of those things about that he's, that he's overweight and he needs to quit chewing and that he needs to get his diabetes better under control. Well, number one, Brad wasn't going to him for the diabetes. Brad wasn't going to him about quitting chewing. And Brad wasn't going to him for weight loss. You know, what he doesn't know, and Brad even told him, Brad used to be a lot heavier. He had lost well over 100 pounds and kept that off. Yeah, he could stand to lose a few more, but who couldn't? You know, he does really well. And we've both been working really hard on our A1C. Now, Brad's A1C was only 7.1 this last time. You know, the doc, I am taking more units of the insulin. And it was not actually insulin. It's something else. Yeah, I'm not. But the, the Trujillo than Brad is. I take 20 more units than he does. But Brad and Brad's A1C was a lot lower than mine. Mine was 11 something and Brad's was, was 7.1. We've been working on this and his is coming down and coming down. Mine's starting to a little bit, but we're not talking about me. And, you know, Brad wasn't coming to him for weight loss. You know, and he wasn't, I mean, it's just like that's what this whole doctor and he was just very um, cocky and stuff. And it's like, Arrogant. And arrogant. And I mean, it was all about the hip. He said, and I quote you, he said that that this was a red herring. And we're looking at him like, what the hell? It's basically, that that he to said that Brad did not have herniated discs. That it's just the hip. Without any imaging. Without him really even examining my husband's back. That he knows that for 17 years my husband has suffered with back pain. The hip pain has only been in the last, what do you, three Six years? Oh. No. Yeah. Occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. But yes. it's gotten real bad, particularly the last six months. And we think it's because he's been compensating for this long. Yeah, granted, he may need a hip replacement. But to say very arrogantly that it's not no he has no back problem. That it's just a hip is asinine. So we are going to get a second opinion. <laughs> and there's no point I think in going for pain management when all he marked on it was for the hip. Yeah. He didn't mark anything for the back at all. Yeah. You know. So, there's no point. You know. And why didn't he give you a referral to an orthopedist? Mm -hmm. They had their own team there. Yep. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Oh, I wondered about that yeah. too. They have their own team there. And... Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to, you know, we had one of the top-notch sports medicine uh, places in Wyoming that's out of Laramie because, you know, of the Wyoming Cowboys and stuff, uh, football team and stuff that also came to Catherine and Gem City, and they're the ones that did it. All, all the, all the, you know, asked for all the tests and, and everything and, and, you know. So, yeah, we'll be getting a second opinion. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, and I'm wondering too, is, is that just, if they say that, then do they get more money through that whole clinic because they get you set up with the pain management with the shots that are $200 each? Yeah. Yeah, who knows? But I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get a second opinion. Yeah. I think it's always wise to get a second opinion. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, we've been chewing on that all weekend. 
you know, <laughs> choo, choo, choo. But anyway, it's been a good, it's been a good uh, weekend, right? Yes, it has. And Brad's going to go in and varnish. And I'm going to go, I'm going to sit here and work on my blanket for a while. Right? Yep. So, anyway, we just want to tell you guys we're not quite ready because the staining and stuff was, um, took longer than, than we estimated. You know, it's a lot different if you're staining one piece as opposed to, Brad was doing five of them yesterday. Yeah. The reason I tell you there's two of them, I keep in one of the two whole <laughs> birdhouses because I just fell in love with them. And, you know, I'm like, this one needs to live here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're doing. So let me know what you think of that. Um, you know, you'll see tomorrow that some of the diamond ones I've painted, um, like vines and stuff on. If you're liking that, I also will have one that um, is crack that I've done a crackle effect on. So um, let, let us know what you think. Um, and like I said, don't forget to go check out our new page uh, tomorrow. I'm going to put the link tomorrow because there's nothing on the page right now. You know, so if you like the page, you can follow it and stuff. So uh, anything else? Mm -hmm. Nope. Sounds like you got it all. Okay, well, love you guys, and be sure to watch tomorrow. And um, uh, remember that we love you guys, and we do cherish your friendship so very much. And thank you for your support in this new endeavor, because um, I really think we can make it go a bit. And um, we think you're awesome. And anything else, hon? Sounds like you got it out. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. Have a great day.